Hello all. Welcome to part five of JavaScript for beginner series. In this session, I am going to practically show you how to print the output of the Java programs using the DOM statements that is console.log and document.write. So let's get started. I'll first open this Visual Studio code. Here guys, I'll create a new HTML file. Say printing program output. Okay, the file name is printing program output I'm giving and I will provide the extension HTML extension. So just to save the time guys, I'll go to the previous HTML file and uh, copy paste the things. Okay, so here, uh, where is that? This one, okay. I'll just copy paste this code, HTML code into this uh, printing output program and I'll just remove this statement that I have written in the previous program. Inside the script tags, I'm going to write the JavaScript code, okay, uh, which uses the DOM statements for printing the output of the programs, okay? So whatever I'm going to type here are the DOM statements, guys. So the first DOM statement we can use is console.log. Console means browser's console. Into the browser's console, we are going to print the output. For example, if I type console.log here, and uh, inside the log, if I provide double quotes and provide some text, let's say, my name is Arun Motori. I love, I love content creation. Okay, I love to create content on software testing. Let's say this is a statement I want to print into the output. Okay, where the text has to be printed, where this particular text which is there inside this log has to be printed into the browser console. Guys, okay, into the browser console, we are printing this as an output. So how that is possible? So, so guys, uh, I'll show you where the browser console will be there. First of all, I'll run this program, guys. I will right click here and say open with live server. You'll get this. But do you see anything on the page? No, this is not the browser console. Whatever you are seeing on the page is the body of this page, right? But it's not the browser console. But where we can see the browser console and where we can see that particular output printed by the console.log. For that, guys, we have to right click on this page and select the inspect option. And here in the console, Okay, in the console of this browser, you can see my name is Arun Moturi. I allow to create content on software testing. Let me clear this out, guys. Uh, I'll just, uh, okay, I'll just uh, do one thing. I'll just uh, resize this, okay, so that you can see the code and uh, I'll just close this out, okay. We'll just, let's focus on this uh, editor and the browser at the same time, guys, okay. This is what, right? At present, we don't see anything in the console. So now I'll just uh, say, run it again okay so i think i have to run it right or you see automatically the code is run just when i press enter here automatically save happened and automatically you got the output here my name is arun motori i like to create content on the software testing where is this particular out output getting printed by this console.log into the browser console guys okay if you want to uh, display or print some output into the browser's console like this we have to use console.log guys, okay? This console.log doesn't belong to JavaScript, it belongs to DOM guys, okay? DOM. Similarly guys, there are other ways of uh, printing the output, uh, okay, in the browser, apart from printing the output into the browser's console like this, we can also print onto the web page also, okay? Here in this uh, blank background, that is white background, onto this white body background, uh, we can print the output, okay? By writing some DOM statements here, we can, get the output on this page also. How to do that? For that guys, we have to first write the document. You already know what is document in, while, while I explained the DOM, right? I explained the document refers to the entire web page. Onto the web page, you have to write something. Okay, you have to use write function. Okay, document.write. Inside the write, just provide something and just provide the same text guys, okay? Uh, I'll just type the same text, you see. My name is Arun Moturi. I love to create content on software testing. Okay, I just typed it and just selected here. You see, where is this particular text getting printed as an output onto the web page, guys? Okay, document.write will print the output onto the web page directly, whereas console.log will print the output into the browser's console like this. Okay, that's the difference, guys. Okay, that's the difference. You can use any of the things, guys. So Sometimes we may have to display the output in the console only. So we have to use console.log. Sometimes we want to display the output on the web page. At that time, we can use document.write. 
so let's do more guys let's do more i'll write one more document dot write now okay document dot write i will say this time i'll say okay so i'll just uh, type a heading guys okay i'll just type a heading i'll just provide the h1 tags okay you know in html which tags we have to use to create the headings so h1 tags inside the document dot write i am providing the h1 heading tags and here i'll say my name is arun motori okay like this. just press select here you see you got the heading okay printed printed as an output onto the or displayed as an op output onto the web page like this okay so you can provide the tags also like this uh, all the html tags you can uh, use inside this write statements guys okay i'll i'll write one more write statement document dot write off okay that is a different way i'll write guys so, okay this time i will write in a different way i'll say my name is arun motori i'll write like this but the problem uh, the thing here is uh, this particular text is displayed in normal format only right but what i will do for a difference is i'll just uh, surround this arun motori with uh, b tags you know for b tags in uh, html right b for bold okay they will make it bold okay you see in in this particular text my name is arun motori arun motori is in bold format because of this html tags which are surrounded by this arun motori okay so like that guys you can either use console.log or you can use document.write for outputting the okay outputting into the browser so console.log will output into the browser's console whereas document.write will directly output onto the web page itself like this okay whatever you are seeing like that it can output so that's all about this uh, printing the output using the console.log and document.write dom statements okay so that's all guys hope you understood this session see you in the next video session thank you bye guys